Objects are always drawn at a one-to-one -one scale. If it's 10 feet long, you'll draw it 10 feet long. This polygon is just over 3 inches wide and 4 inches high. Easily, this will fit on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper from your printer. The Page Layout dialog box shows you the printer page and how your drawing will fit. In this case, you can see by overlaying the drawing in the preview, you can see that it will easily fit on that 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, my default printer page. Now if I resize this polygon, we'll make it 10 feet long, and we'll zoom out, and then we'll go back to the page layout dialog box again. You'll see now there's the page. This 10 foot long polygon will not fit on that piece of paper. So we can define a drawing scale for printing. We've chosen 1 to 8. It's adjusted it, but notice that the polygon still will not fit. So we'll take this scale, we'll type in 1 inch divided by one foot. In other words, one inch equals a foot drawing scale. Still didn't quite work, so we'll change that to three quarters of an inch to a foot scale. We can go back in and actually display the printer margins. Now we'll zoom out and you can see the printer page and the drawing based on that drawing scale set. Now we'll take the polygon We'll change the width to 45 feet, and the height will change also to 20 feet. And we'll zoom out. You can see the printer page margins. Obviously it doesn't fit. Back to page layout. We'll change the scale. We'll try a quarter of an inch divided by a foot or a quarter of an inch to a foot scale. Might work if we changed the page to landscape. We'll make that an eighth of an inch to a foot. The page layout dialog box has also an option to fit to the page. That will automatically set a drawing scale and it will be an arbitrary drawing scale based on a best fit. We've opened one of the example files that came with the software. We'll go to Page Layout, much too large to fit at our one-to-one -one scale. So we'll overlay the drawing so that we can see how it relates to the printer page. We'll go up and set to Single Page, the setup mode, and we'll start adjusting the scale. We'll try a quarter inch to a foot. Remember that's entered as a quarter of an inch divided by a foot. And we'll try one inch to a foot, and that seems to be better. We'll choose Align to Center. If we clicked again the Fit to Area, that's going to auto-scale it and create a custom scale. Align to Center just repositions the drawing visually on the page when it's printed. From the Verify menu, we'll measure between these two points so that you can see it measures the real-world distance, but it will fit on our 8.5 by 11 printed page.